Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks, to the Hungry Gamers, back with another part of our Wander the Cult of Barnacle Bay playthrough series, and we are coming to the end at last. So, what I decided to do with this one is I went with the going to the chapel to try to stop Elder Bane's congregation. And I did that even though there was a vote for the portal one, except the portal one, when I went and I checked it out, it was sprawling and it was really hard to come close to fitting on the camera. First off, sorry about that. I had left the ceiling fan and light on. That is fixed now. But it was just really hard to fit on the camera. And I had also never done this chapel one before either. So that's why I chose to do that one. So here is our story. Arriving at the church, the wanderers met the full force of Elder Bane's congregation. Surrounding the building were dozens upon dozens of cultists. Their chanting was overpowering and their mindless swaying was horrifying. Soon one cultist pointed at the wanderers and screeched, They must not interrupt the elder! The cultists screamed, and like a single massive entity, they charged toward the wanderers. As the crowds flowed towards them, the wanderers noticed portals next to the church opening, and more cultists and abominations spilling out. They had to put a stop to this. And so, what's going to be happening here is, to win, one character has to hit level 5. That's it, get to level 5, the game is over. And you'll see there, there's the portals here, and out of each of those portals, every round, a new grunt or archer or caster will spawn after they activate in their initiative order. And so you'll see that there are no casters on the initiative track over there, but so after everyone's gone, then I will spawn a caster is what I will okay. do. There are three of the objective tiles hidden under the mystery tiles there, the darkness tiles, and those will stop spawning for an entire round. So worth finding those. And the other major difference is that every time a character reaches new experience level, there's no spawn cards. Instead, you just spawn a bear shark closest to them. I will also point out that I'd have located the high tide expansion. And of course, they're barely getting used. This time there's two boomers out there and no guards. I'll also point out that I've done my initial attempt to paint these two characters, they're not great, but they're okay. And I'm pleased with my efforts. And I'll put those there as I zoom in. So I'm going down the same route that I did last time. I'm giving Mary the defensive ability because I want her to be able to attack at range for this to kind of keep things from getting on us all the time. And I'm gonna make Raina kind of the killer. Hopefully she'll be the one that'll rack up the XP fastest with her attack reroll. Reyna's loadout is almost the same as it was last time. We have the speed rune, we have the attack gloves, the bucket helm, the urchin armor, and the saw sword. And because there's no water on this one, I swapped out the swimmy tube for just the heart amulet. Now I almost, I got some new gear and trade stuff in, I almost went with these two here. I think these are really, really cool, but I think the saw sword is better for this particular mission, but we will find out. I was really, really tempted to take these two. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I might take them against Elder Bane, or if someone gets knocked out twice and I have to replace them for the final fight, maybe I'll do that. Then for Mary, I am exactly the same as last time. I have my soul amulet, my speed boots, the scale helm, good old tidal blast, the scale armor, and our friend the fish fiend. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up and we will see how we do. All right, so here we go. So we start out, we have the boomers up first, which is good because they can't see anybody. If I'm lucky, maybe I can, well, I'll hit this one right here. And maybe if I'm lucky, it will be a stop the portals from spawning until I can clear these out a little bit. Though maybe it's not too bad if they keep spawning and I just don't make them all start moving. I don't know, but so I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna have Mary go one, two, activate this guy and then hit him with the title blast. Now a level three boomer has two armor and four health. In this case though, it has 
three armor and four health. So I'm gonna I really have to knock it down and slowly wail on it, I think. So she is in the attack spot, so she's gonna get five dice on this attack. And really I'm looking for crits. I'm looking for crits here. Nice. So I did get crit. Two hits. Ooh, another crit. And that was a crit. So I wound up doing two damage to it. And more importantly, I knocked it down. And there was actually supposed to be one here. And there's actually supposed to be another health potion up here, but I start with two, so I actually don't have enough. So I'm just gonna set that there for now. And hopefully I'll remember that's a health potion. And that is the end of Mary's turn. It's now Raina's turn. I'm gonna use my free. Oh, and I forgot to move the fish fiend, who I will send one, two. No, I'll send it one and two to right there kind of block. So I'm gonna, so Rain's got a three movement and I'm gonna go ahead and just go use my free movement to there. A treasure. Well, treasure's good, but not what I was hoping for. Let's see what we get. And so I got something that I'm immediately going to equip and change out her normal attack gauntlets for, for the spiked gauntlets, excuse me, the scald gauntlets. And I'll drop my mighty gloves on the ground and I'm gonna be putting these on instead because now I'm gonna be able to attack at range with my saw sword. And that is good because now I'm gonna use my speed rune, go one, two, and three, and then I will use my saw sword with my seven dice, and I get to attack at range because my new gloves. I'm looking for four wounds here to kill this thing. Wow. Well, I have one attack reroll. Well, that went poorly. So now we have the archers and the grunts. They're both gonna go, but they're not gonna do anything. And then the caster will spawn down at the end. So we get another archer over here and we get a grunt over there. And then we get a caster right here. And we're back to the top of the round. So my boomer will get up, the other boomer will do nothing. And I'm gonna try to have Mary kill off that boomer. Wow, nothing, goodness gracious. And here we go again. Well, at least I got my crit. Ooh, another crit. All right, and that's gonna be enough to take it out. So a little bit bummed that Mary got the kill, but that's the way it goes. And that is the end of her turn. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my free move with Reyna to pop right up here. I'm gonna get minus one attack and one defense, though it doesn't really matter right now. So I only have six dice and I need to get a total of six wounds here. There, well, I have a crit and a reroll. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly what I need. And get out of here, caster. And then I have one more movement, or one more action, I should say. And I'm just gonna go one, two, and oh my gosh, no luck for me. Well, so I said no luck for me, but as you can see, you find a comically large explosive completely unattended. And it's a one shot, use it once, big ol' attack. So I take it back. That is some luck right there. All right, now we have the archers, grunt, and casters are just gonna spawn. I could be really lame here and just farm this, but that's clearly not how this is intended. So I think what I'm gonna do, well, I might, I might farm it for just a little bit and let these things kind of push their way out until I have a really good target for my bomb and everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna go ahead and just have Mary hit that caster and try to knock it down. So I definitely knocked it down and I did two damage to it. One attack and I'll go ahead and take my second attack also. The idea is because I was expecting Rain is gonna level up first and that'll at least push Mary into the next level and that is enough to take it out. And that's it for Mary. I'm going to use my free action. I think I'm gonna use my free action to go to here. I'm gonna pick this up, my second action, and then one, two, three to there. And then again, more spawns. And now we push something out and the same up there. And again, the boomers are gonna go, but nothing happens. And now this grunt here is now active. It can see Reyna, so something's gonna get started. But first, 
Let's do a little rinse and repeat here. Mary's gonna keep putting these down or not. So that does absolutely nothing. There we go. And the two crits. So that is three damage, almost put it down. At least it knocked it down. Oh, you know what? I had Fish Fiend here, so they should have been moving the entire time, but oh well. Nothing to do about it. So I'm going to go one, two, three for my free move. There we go. So now nobody's gonna spawn this round. So I have a little bit of a break here. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three for my first action. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna use the bomb. And I'm also now activating all of those guys up there. So everyone's coming, so I'm gonna to have to pull back a little bit, but I'm gonna use the bomb for six dice. Everyone back there. The grunts, both the grunts and the archers have two armor. Wow, absolutely nothing. Wow. Well, and then I will use my last movement to go one, two. Oh, that was not what I wanted. So here come the archers and then Caster is going to get up. None of them spawned, so that's a nice little safety zone there. Back to the top. Now the boomer will step up, and Mary's going to try to knock down and maybe kill that caster again. Oh, I got the knockdown. And there's the crit. Nice. So that will be enough to actually just kill it. So that is good at least. I'm not really not, I'm not doing very well in this so far, but. Let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna do a little hit and run here. I'm gonna go, oh, I do have one more action with Mary. So I'm gonna go ahead and move. One, two, three. And then that allows Fish Fiend to go one, two. I'm gonna stop Fish Fiend right there, just be a little bit of a bottleneck. Then I'm gonna have Raina use her free movement to go one, two, three. And I'm going to attack the grunt with the saw sword, I have seven dice, and then each wound is going to cleave. So if I do hit hard enough, I should be able to kill two things here and then get out of the way. So here we go. Whoa, and I still have my reroll. Oh, move those over. And the reroll. Wow, look at that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, 11 damage. So that will take out the grunt and I will cleave. So I have seven wounds to cleave. Each archer has four health, so I will kill one archer and put three more damage on another. Now I was going to run away, but I don't think I am. I think now I'm just gonna attack again and see if I can't kill those two as well. So hopefully I can have that kind of luck again. So here we go. I did not. Oh boy. So I did one wound. Well, at least that does kill this one and one wound on the other. So that might have been, I might have gotten greedy there. But that does level up Reyna and also level up Mary. So that drops Bear Shark here and it gives Reyna another attack. So I'm going to, or another action. And now I think I am going to retreat. So retreat to there, and I have to do a dodge. And I have four dice for that. Boom, got it. Now we have the archers, and then we have another spawn, and we have the grunts. I forgot that archer moved forward. That archer should be shooting Fish Fiend. Let me pause and do that, and then I'll finish the grunts. So Fish Fiend has three defense against two damage here. Well. Fish Fiend's not gonna be long for this world. And the rest of my grunts are gonna move. I think he's, th yeah, they're there, I think. I don't think I messed that up. I may have just messed that up, because I knocked stuff, but oh well. And cast response. And I almost forgot to add the bear shark to the list there. And it will move as well, and it's in the unenviable spot, or the very enviable, enviable defense spot. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of pressure. And here comes that guy. And it's gonna be one damage. Hopefully Fish Fiend can block something this time. 
and it can, so it will live to get smacked another day. Okay, so I'm gonna do Mary. I'm gonna move one, two to here. First, I'm going to hit all of these guys over here. Nope, that's there. All of these guys here, try to get a knockdown, and then I'll deal with the one in front of me. Wow, nope. So, attack again. Okay, well, at least I got some crits there. Oh, I was would have gone for the grunt there, but so I do one damage to a grunt, and at least they both get knocked down. And she's stuck there, so I'm going to use my free move to come to here, and I'm going to start out and just try to kill the one next to me. Seven dice. Okay, well that's there's a reroll, and I have two crits. Wow, golly, I just can't get anything going here. So that is two damage to the archer. And here we go again. Come on, get the kill. That's enough to get the kill. Don't even need to use my reroll. So slowly making progress. And then I'll use my last action and see if I can't do some damage over there. So I'm going to attack the grunt, which is, has only one armor because it's knocked down. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, nothing going here. And there's my reroll. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so one armor, one, two, three, four, five. So I do five damage to the downed grunt and five damage to the brute. And then we're gonna go through all of them. So this archer is going to take a shot at Reyna. This archer will take a shot at the fish fiend. So I'll do the fish fiend first. And defended, and Reyna. So also defends one, luckily. And then we have the Grunt's gonna wind up getting up on its turn. The Brute's gonna get up on its turn. I know I'm going out of order here a little bit. And these two are gonna move forward, and the caster will move forward too. And I know I went out of order there, but that's all right. I thought this one was gonna be easy. It is not, it is really, really tough. Okay. So first the boomer is coming at the fish fiend again. Come on, fish fiend, hold out one more turn. Yes, blocked it. Good fish fiend. We have Mary. So Mary's gonna try to knock them down. It will go at the grunt. Nice. And the crit. Okay, so that's actually gonna kill the grunt and knock down the brute here. Nice. That's exactly what I needed to have happen. Then I'm going to fire through and try to knock down that stupid, stupid archer. Come on. Well, didn't knock it down, but I did do two damage to it. And then for my last action, do it again. Wow. Okay. Well, that did not go how I expected at all. Oh, I didn't summon more things at the end of last turn, did I? I did not. Oh man, boy, this is this is tough with only two. Okay, so I think the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna have Raina try to kill that, and it's got three armor, so I need to do at least five. If I can do five damage, I'll take it out. And yes, that's already five damage. Boom, get out of here. But you'll be coming back in just a minute, so. Then I'm gonna use my free action, move forward. I'm gonna have to do a dodge to get there. Questioning with the logic, I almost took that shadow belt I've been holding on to. I probably should have, but oh well. Oh good. I defended. And then let's do seven attacks on these archers. I'll start on the non-wounded one. Oh, come on. Well, here's my reroll. All right, so two. So one, two, three, four. That's enough. Kills the non-wounded. Two will carry over. Kill the other one. Nice. And that means level up. And usually I go with the leap, but since everything's coming to me, I'm going to take its Raina's harpoon action. So for an action, I can pull an enemy close to me. Well, no, I don't think that's very useful because I would want multiple enemies. No, I'm going to go with leap. I always go with leap. I'm going to be boring. Okay, now we have the archers. So there's one that's going to take a shot. Come on, fish fiend. Hold out, hold out, hold out. And yes, it does again. Nice. And new archer. 
Now this is going to be the end of the Fish Fiend, I think, because now the Fish Fiend is taking four damage from those two grunts next to it. Yeah, so that's it for the Fish Fiend. I will probably try to resummon it later, and then this grunt will push forward, which I will have push that one forward. That one steps forward. That one shows up. Here come the casters. And another one. And then the brute gets to hit me for three. Now here's the thing. If I can get a crit here, I will both do a wound to it and knock it down. And I got a crit. But that's it. So I take two damage. But I do have two potions, so I'm doing okay there. And I do one wound back to it and knock it down because of my bucket helm. Excellent. Whew. Yeah, I think it's time for me to step on that dumb thing. Okay, so I think we're gonna have Mary just bust it, try to knock that down. Yes! Ooh, two crits! Ooh, three crits! So that is four damage. So that actually does two damage to this guy, which is a lovely thing to happen. Boom. Then I'm gonna use another action. I'm gonna resummon Fish Fiend right here. Keep the bottleneck alive. Then my last attack, I'm going to try to knock that one down just to make it. No, I'm gonna, I'll see if I can't take out that. Grut's right in front of me. It only has one armor now. And there's the crit. So I did two more damage to it. So I got it to four. So I did something, not, not a ton. See, if I was smart, what I should have done is had Fish Fiend do the attack because it would have done more, but I'm clearly not very clever. Oh my gosh, like, guys, I, I am sweating right now. I mean, it's a little warm in this room, but I am looking at this incredible mob here and thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way. So here we go, seven dice, I'm attacking the brute. So it has three armor, here we go. Nice. And my reroll, and my crit, dang it. So I do two to the brute and two to the archer. And second attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. And my reroll. Yes. Yes. Nice. So three, one, two, three, four. That will kill the archer and almost take down the brute. And then I have one last attack. See if I can't finish off that brute for two more XP and I'm on my way. Whoa, yes, reroll, nice. And I have three crits. Oh, it's so dead. Boom, get out of here, brute. That is two more XP. And that puts Reyna all the way up to 12. So she is on her way. Then I will use my free move action. Go there and oh, thank you. Stop things from spawning for a round. All right, so first we have the archers. The archers are gonna take a shot. Fish Fiend, who is newly reborn, only to be shot in the face. Ooh, totally defended it. Suck it, archer. We have this grunt is going to stand up. That one will move forward. That one will move forward, that one is stuck. And so Fish Fiend is now taking four more damage. Well, block two, so still up. And then we have our next issue of casters coming at me. So this one is going to shoot Mary right in the back for two damage, but she does have her barrier, which does a knockdown on crits and it does not say close but I did not get any crits, dang. So one damage to Mary. Oh, that was a bummer. And can Fish Fiend survive another hit from the Boomer? Yes. All right, so Mary's gotta do a knockdown and a knockdown, I think's what I need to try to do. I'm gonna start by knocking down the caster. Yes, ooh. And a really good roll, come on, nuts. So that is gonna be three damage on the caster. My second attack, I'm gonna to try to knock down that grunt again. 
Okay, well I did, and a crit. Nice. So that will be two more damage to the grunt, and it's down. And then let's see if I can get lucky and take out that caster over there. It's got one, one armor. And that is only two more damage. Which is enough, yes! Which brings Mary to eight XP. So she is almost level three to get something new as well. Okay, now I think it's time to use my free action to here. So I do have to dodge a shot from the archer, which is okay. Whoa, barely. Then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna hit the grunt first. Grunt, or do I wanna hit the, do I wanna hit the boomer first? Let's see. No, because the boomer only has four health, so I wanna be able to do extra wounds. So here we go, hitting the grunt. Grunt has two armor. Here we go. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yes, first my reroll. And I have three crits. Ooh, another one. Oh man, I wailed on it. Ooh, another one. This is my last die. Wow, so there's the two armor. So clearly I did seven wounds. I don't think you can keep carrying them all over and over and over, but so I will get rid of that one. And I will also get rid of that second grunt as well. Then I'm gonna attack with my second attack and I'm gonna start on the archer. I'm more afraid of the archer than I am of anything else. Yes. Well, here's my two crits and my reroll. So that is three wounds to the archer and also three wounds to the boomer. So that means, I don't, oh, I don't know, oh, that's the potion, that's what that is. So that means I only need to do one more wound on this last attack. Which I just barely did, but that does take out both of those, which is gonna do a couple of things. One, it's gonna level up Reyna, and it's gonna level up Mary. It's going to remove the last high tide guy from the board, so that's it for that. And it's gonna spawn a brute. And it's also going to mess up my perfect little spot that I have set up because I like having that free movement. There's the brute, but that is the way it goes. So, so I'm gonna give Reyna the Dragoon Sight for Pierce one and another attack reroll. And I'm gonna give Mary the plus one attack with spells, her magic surge. Okay, now. We have the archer, oh, there are no archers. So those are actually gonna wind up being at the bottom of the list because they're about to come back on their turn. So I'm just gonna slide them on down for now so I don't forget. Which moves the grunts to the movement position, which is good, get them out of the attack position. And unfortunately, Reyna is gonna get hit for two damage she has four defense, and we are looking for crits. No crits. So one more damage to Reyna that puts her to three damage total. So she's still okay, but starting to get hurt a little bit. Then we have a new Grunt. Then we have the Brute. And the Caster. And we have a new Caster. And then we get a new Archer. Okay, so, man, I am... This is tough. So let's see, I need... Nine more XP is what I need. So, but first we have Mary, who I'm gonna have just try to knock down that grunt next to her. Maybe kill it. Nope. That's one attack. There we go. That's two more, which is enough to take it out. And I have one left, so. I'm going to move Fish Fiend forward one. So I have to, actually, I think to do that, I actually have to move. So I'll, oh wait, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I didn't see this archer over here. I'm gonna try to knock down that archer. That's way, way more important. There we go. Oh man, I did not knock it down. I should have moved Fish Fiend. Oh well, oh boy. Not good, not good, not good, not good. All right, so Rain's turn. She has eight dice now and Pierce and two rerolls. So start on one of those grunts. Here we go, the grunts have two armor. Ah, oh, yuck. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, so that's four on both of them on the first attack. And second attack. Man, can't get my crits here. I do have two. Oh, that was five damage because I forgot I had pierce. Anyhow, my two rerolls here. Okay, so only one's blocked. One, two, three. That's going to be enough to get rid of both of them. Puts her to 18. And I have one action left. I'm just going to step to there. Okay. Boy, oh my gosh, I'm stressing out here. So here comes the grunt. Moves two. Attacks poor fish fiend. Four fish fiend for one. Blocks it, yes. Then we get a new grunt. Then we have the casters. So this one is going to attack Mary. These two are going to move forward. So two damage on Mary. Ooh, and one crit. So she does bounce one back on it. And a new caster. Here comes the brute. Steps forward one. Hits poor fish fiend for four. Which, unless I'm really lucky, is going to be the end of fish fiend again. Oh, yep, no more fish fiend. Bloop. And then the archer is going to shoot at Mary. Oh, she has six dice now because she's in the defense spot. And no crits, but I do block it. And a new archer. I think, I think I can do this. I think, I think, I think. All right, so first things first. I'm going to have Mary knock down that caster. Or not. Second attack. Again, did not. Third attack. There's my crit. And I do one damage to the caster. And you know what? I think I made a mistake and double moved the casters before. That was a mistake, so sorry if I made that mistake, but I will not make that mistake moving forward. They're actually in the defensive position. All right, so that was not a particularly good round. I think I have to deal with these archers or, yeah, I think I do. I'm going to go one, two, and hit them for eight dice. Okay, so they have, so they have one, they have no defense. My two rerolls, that's enough. Saw sword will let me cleave, take two more out. Puts me to 20. Okay, I think I might do this. My second action, I will go one, two, three. Ooh, gosh, do I want to risk that? No, I don't. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to use one of my potions here. I will replace that with that, and I'm healed back to full. Okay, so sorry about that. There was, a, again, construction going on in the house, and they, they were getting really, really loud, so I had to wait till they finished what they were working on. But I believe I'm at the grunts now. So here we go. That grunt moves one, that grunt moves two. This one's going to attack Mary for one. With some luck, she will get a lot of crits here. Well, that's certainly enough to protect herself. And one crit bounces back, one attack on the grunt. Oh, you know what? I've been cheating. It's not supposed to do a damage. It's supposed to just do a knockdown. So I'll take that away. I took the damage away from over there, which means I should have had one more attack to do, but Whatever. That's what I get. And then we get another grunt. So this caster is merely going to stand up. Both of these will step one, step one, and another caster. The brute will step up and attack Mary for four. So this is big. This could be really bad. Come on, dice. Oh, so I blocked two. I didn't get the crit. I really wanted a crit, but that's okay. So that only puts Mary to two damage. She is fine. We don't get another grunt, but we do get another caster. Okay. So first thing is we have Mary. So Mary's just got to do a bunch of knockdown. So I'm going to go here, here, here is the plan. Here we've got five dice. Come on, give me some crits. Dang. So I will repeat. Ooh, well, I actually did some damage there. So the brute has three armor. So I did four damage to it. Wow. And then knock it down. And then I will try to knock down that caster as well. Come on, give me a crit. Yes. Okay, so the caster 
has three armor. So I do one damage, but I knock it back down. And that is it for Mary. So I'm gonna risk the poison from the archer here as I move away. I block it. I'm gonna go one action to there, and I got two more. I'm gonna start on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the grunt, because a grunt can still take seven damage. And it has no armor against Reyna because of her pierce. Wow. So I have two rerolls first. And then I have a crit. And I still have one more reroll. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that will actually be enough to take out this one and enough to take out the brute as well. And that's three more XP, which puts her only two away. So I can't get it here, but I might as well make an attack with my gloves at range. So this is a range saw sword attack. Whoa, look at that, goodness gracious. So first I have two rerolls. Then I have four crits. And another crit. Ooh, and another crit. Holy smoke. Okay, so one goes away to armor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's plenty. Boom, get out of here. So Reyna is one away. If Reyna can get one more XP, we are done. Oh my gosh, can't believe I'm gonna make it. First off, the grunt comes. Another one pops out of the portal. This caster will stand up. And these two will both step over and hit Mary. I don't know why I had that caster there. That was a... A weird choice, I shouldn't have done that. So they will take away one of Mary's defense because at level three, they do defense and attack. So she has five dice to defend against four damage. Ooh, only blocked one. So that's three more damage, which puts her down to one health. Man, okay. This guy moves, this guy moves, and another one. And the archer's gonna shoot Mary. For one, oh, nice, safe, and then doink, bounces back for a knockdown. There is no brute right now. Oh, that means the archer should have had one more, but as you can see, I had a crit and a shield, so I'm okay. Wow. All right, so we're at the top. First things first, use my potion to heal three for our first action. I think my second action simply has to be try to knock those two down. So I'm down to four dice. Come on, crit. Yes. So most importantly, knock them both down. Now I'll attack those guys over there. That one, I should say, over there, try to knock it down. And I failed. I did nothing because it's in the defensive position. Oh, I should have summoned Fish Fiend back. Oh my gosh, I keep screwing that up. Okay. So this is it. I think what I have to do is I'll move right to here. See, I'm tempted to be greedy and pick that up and then count on one attack doing this, but I'm not going to because I'm worried I'm going to lose Mary if I don't take it out. So I'm going to leave the treasure, and here we go. Come on. Look at that. So it's already dead, but... Oh my gosh, I had two... I still had two more crits. And my two rerolls. And another crit. Yeah, I think that archer is very, very dead. Oh, there it is. I made it. That is 25 XP. Now, this actually took a little longer than I thought. There is an option of summoning the Mega Brute and then going for extra loot and fighting the Mega Brute. However, based on the character abilities that I have, I think it will just take a really long time to do. And I actually don't have space for extra relics anyway. So I'm going to leave it as is. So, with our victory. After defeating the cultists and closing the portals, the wanderers approached the church. Unnatural light poured from within and an unearthly sound shook the earth. The wanderers approached the door. On the other side of it must be Elder Bane. And so we have no choice. We fight Elder Bane next. All right, so I'm actually going to move ahead and go ahead and film that uh, I do get a new relic, which is the visceral stone here, which 
gives me plus one HP, and on crits, they do double damage. So I'm going to have to make a choice there. And I'm, pr I'm probably going to give that to Reyna because she rolls so many attack dice, but I'm just, uh, well, I'm not sure. So anyhow, we'll see. All right, so hopefully I will be able to succeed against Elder Bane. I do know that it's not quite going to fit on the camera. Maybe, maybe I'll try turning it that way. Maybe it'll work. But as always, thank you so much for watching, especially those of you who have been watching from the beginning. As always, have a wonderful, wonderful day.